you're in good company with the Family Channel. Family Catchphrase with Andrew O'Connor. <laughs> Little tip for you, always read the small print in your contract. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Family Channel and Family Catchphrase. Let's meet the contestants. Are you, a bit, are you a bit nervous? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous as well, actually. Tony, tell me about Andrew. Andreas is my son. He's 14 years of age, one of two children. Um, keen bazooki player. Bazooki? Bazooki. What's a bazooki? Is it Andrew or is it Andreas? What do you mean to call you? Andrew. Andrew. Why does your mum call you Andreas, then? That's what she named me. <laughs> <laughs> then why do you want me to call Why don't I just call you Bert or something, in that case? Oh, you like, I don't care. <laughs> oh, right. OK, Bert, what's a bazooki? Oh, it's, it's slightly bigger. It's much bigger than a mandolin. Right. And listen, Gladys, how long have you been playing it for? Oh, about two years. Three All right. Years. Tell about your mum, then, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is my mum, Tony. People call her Tony because they can't say her real name. Oh, here it? we go again. We're going to have a lot of this. What? <laughs> so Tony's not her name either? No, her name's Xenula. Xenula? And have you got to, have you got to go sonola with the hand as well? The hand got to be in it. No, no, it, no it's just I'm Greek. You're saying it just happens. <laughs> <laughs> just, just happens when you're Greek. Yeah. I think these two are going to be trouble, don't you? Welcome to the show, Tony and Andrew. <laughs> Hiya, welcome. Tell me, Paul's your real name. Yeah, Paul's Thank my real name. Thank goodness for that. And can yeah. I call you Paul? Yeah, you can call I'm me happy. Paul. Tell yeah. me about Cheryl then, Paul. Right, Cheryl's my uh, niece. She's 16 years old, and she's studying for. Her GCSEs, hoping to become a social worker, working with kids and that. And yeah, uh, you want to work with kids? Yep. Get a paper round. Yep. <laughs> Tell me about about Paul then. Paul's my uncle. He's an upholsterer, and he's got four kids and four cars. Four kids and four cars. Four cars yeah. A car for each kid. <laughs> yeah. But, and uh, you're an upholsterer. Yeah, I am. That's a good career. You always got something to fall back on. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, someone was bound to say it sooner or later. Might as well be me. Let me check I give you because I don't want them. Our contestants. <laughs> so, Andrew, it's what is it? It's Sanula. Is it? Senula. Senula. Is that how you say it? Sort of. Sort of. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> okay, you four. Here's the prize you could get on this show. You could win an amazing remote control compact disc sound machine and a superb Interpeak mountain bike. Have your kids got bikes, Paul? Yep, all yeah, of them. All yep. of them. So, four kids, four cars, four bikes. Yep. Jolly good. Now, you know how it works. We're going to show you catchphrases, and you've got to guess what they are and tell us. It couldn't be simpler, could it? But first of all, we've got to find out how much each of the catchphrases are worth. Now, Tony and Andrew, or Sanula and Andreas, you won the toss, so you can hit the number chase button, stop it whenever you feel lucky. Try and get a high score. <laughs> Each catchphrase is worth 20. Now, you can buzz in, but don't forget, you cannot buzz in until you hear this noise. And when you hear that shop bell noise, then you can buzz in. Are you ready? Here it starts now. Here's Paul and Cheryl. Running shoes. It is running shoes. <laughs> you know, it's just... There's the whole audience clapping and just three of them cheering. Three voices going, oh, yes, well done. <laughs> so you get 20, but more importantly, you get a go now at the bonus. Now, behind each of those nine squares is the bonus, and you want to try and take away the middle square if you can. It's worth 50 this time, so hit your button. Oh, you got bottom middle. Five seconds, take it away. What do you think it is? I've got a clue. I like the man who's honest. <laughs> 
I haven't got a clue. Now, there's not many game shows, are there, where the contestants will say to you, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> but then not many contestants have got four kids, four cars and four bikes. <laughs> Tony Landry, you're back in. Here's the catchphrase. Andrew, very forceful there. Rise upon it. Rise upon it is not right. Paul rise Mitchell? above it. It's rise above it, yeah. <laughs> but Andrew, you were the first one to get in there, mate, and just that one word stuck to be all right, because at least you were quick on the reactions. You get another go at the bonus now, Paul and Cheryl. Take another square away. <laughs> Five seconds, what is it? I've got no idea. You're right, I haven't got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got a clue. <laughs> Cheryl, if you feel like playing at any point, <laughs> just you join in. All right, this one's for you, Andrew. Let's hope Mr Chips is there. Here it comes. <laughs> Andrew and Tony. Saturday Night Fever. It is! <laughs> Saturday Night Fever, well done. <laughs> is, there, um, is there some problem with the buzzer here? Andrew, what was going on? Well, I, when the first one came along, I pushed it and I thought I had it, but I never pushed it hard enough, so you go. <laughs> so now you're making doubly sure. Yeah. Do you want a hammer? I'll get you a hammer if you want. <laughs> so you've scored now. We, we, we haven't seen Mr Chips yet, have we? We've scored now, and you get, I got the bonus. Bonus is worth 40, so do you want the middle square if you can get it? <laughs> you got bottom right. Take it away. Five seconds. What is it, mate? Knuckle duster. It is knuckle duster! <laughs> And suddenly, Andres is a bit more confident. You know, he sort of... He started swaggering now. He's playing his bazooki in a minute. So at 60, plays 40, Paul stops smiling. You see, you hadn't got a clue, and he had. No, you see? He, well. And he, he got it right. Well. So, Tony and Andrew, you get to find out now how much the next lot of catchphrases are worth. So, hit that numbers chase button again. <laughs> Each one's worth 60. So this could put you straight in the lead, Paul and Cheryl, but now, of course, it gets serious. It's now the solo shoot round in catchphrase, where Andrew plays Cheryl. So at last, Cheryl might talk to us. <laughs> You've been quiet and mysterious up to now, haven't you? Yep. No helping from Paul and Tony. I hope Mr Chips is in this one. Let's have a look. <laughs> Andrew. Guns and Roses. It's Guns and Roses. Andrew, you're giving that buzzer a bit of a oh, hammering, aren't you? Sorry. It, yeah, it just takes a gentle little tap. Not a, oh, I'm going to get it. 120 plays 40, and you get the go at the brand new bonus. The bonus is worth 100 now, Andrew. Take away a square. <laughs> Top middle. Five seconds. What do you think it is? Football match. No, it's not a football match, but that's, uh, it could have been, because there's, like, little faces there and stuff. But no, that's not right. So now it's over to Tony and Paul. It's the grown-ups play now. So shift over, Cheryl. Let him in. You ready? Here comes your catchphrase. Look out for Mr. Chips. Whoa! Level pegging. It is level pegging. <laughs> so it's 100 plays 120. This bonus is worth 90. Could make a lot of difference here, Paul. Take a squirrel away. Ooh, might help you. Five seconds. What is it? I haven't got a clue again. Oh, that, it's, it's, that's becoming like your catchphrase, isn't it? It is. It's, it's Paul, I haven't got a clue on catchphrase. Let's look at the scores. <laughs> Paul and Charlotte have got 100 in the lead, with 120 are Tony and Andrew. <laughs> so we'll take a break. See you soon for some more funny catchphrase. Bye-bye. <laughs> And family catchers. If you missed the first part of the show, I'll let you know what's happened. Paul, right, he's, he's good, but he keeps saying, I ain't got a clue, right? And Cheryl hasn't really spoken yet. So say hello, Cheryl. Hello. Now she has, right? And <laughs> she hasn't got one yet. Now Tony's okay, but the star of the show so far is Andrew. And we were saying on the break, how much we like your hair, Andrew? It's very nice. Is it like brill creamed or something? No, it's like shock waves. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what? It's like what? Shock waves. Shock waves. Mm. Who does it for you? Me. 
You do it, you do your own hair. What, do you cut it as well? No, Mum does. Mum does, it looks very, very nice. <laughs> now you're in the lead, it's 120, plays 100. Now Andrew and Cheryl, it's head to head in a solo shoot, so take control of those buzzers. Are you ready? Cheryl, I'd really like it if you buzzed in this time okay. and gave me an answer, even if it was wrong. All right, oh, he's cracking his knuckles there, Andrew. Oh, dear me. Like something out of a gangster film for a minute, then. <laughs> That's what I've seen you before, Bugsy Malone. That's what you remind me of. Are you ready? Here it comes now. Cheryl! Pin bed. Pin bed? Oh. No, it's not pin bed, Andrew. Better nails. Better nails is what it is. Yeah, got the point. But Cheryl, it was very nice to hear from you. Doesn't matter, that was good. So it's 100, 108 plays 100, and you get another go at the bonus now, Andrew. So take the square away. Five seconds, what is it? Face in the crowd. It is face in the crowd. <laughs> Andrew, have you, have you been rehearsing? Have you been rehearsing for, like, years on this or something? No, I'm nervous. Are you? Yeah. Well, I'd hate to see if you weren't nervous. <laughs> so, I mean, it's 260 plays 100. We're going to stay now with the solo shoot. So, turn Andrew, hit the number chase button. Get us another number for the catchphrase. Come on, then. 75, higher than the last time. And it's over to Tony and Paul. You're head-to-head -head now. Are you ready? Paul, you've really got to try and catch up here. I know. How could you say, I haven't got a clue? Cheryl just getting it wrong. You've got to play the game. I'm trying. It's good now. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> Tell me what's on the screen. Paul. Animal crackers. It's animal crackers. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Did it help when I said, Tell me what's on the screen? A little. Well, yeah. I shall never say it again. All right, it's 175 <laughs> plays, 260. And you get, I got the bonus, and this bonus is worth 100. If you got this bonus, it would put you straight in the lead. Take away a square ball. Five seconds, what is it? I haven't got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling you were going to say that. So it's back to Andrew and Cheryl. Cheryl's still to get one right, but we believe you can do it now. Andrew, straight in there. The bottom line. It is the bottom line, yeah. He's unstoppable, this guy. He's unstoppable. 335 plays 175. He's just too fast, isn't he, Cheryl? He takes no prisoners. You're not even showing, like, a little bit of sympathy. You're hitting that thing. I see if I can sort something out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see if I can sort something out, you know. But, like, the doll next door. <laughs> you get to go the bonus. Bonus is worth 90 now, Andrew. You want that middle square if you can get it. Oh, bottom left. Five seconds, what is it? Keep to the right. Keep to the right is an interesting guess, but I'm afraid it is not right. Back to Tony and Paul. Come on, Paul. Are you ready? Here comes your solo catchphrase. <laughs> Tell me what's on the screen. Tony! Match it all out. Match it all out is not right. Come on, Paul. Come on, Paul. Give us your catchphrase, Paul. All-out match. All-out mm. match. What audience, what was it? All-out All out strike. But, of course, it's easy when you haven't got the lights on you. OK, back to Cheryl and Andrew. Are you ready? Here it comes. Pay close attention. Cheryl! Bang on time. It's bang on time! She's dead! Yeah, well done, Cheryl. And if you could get this bonus, it'd be really exciting. The audience would go even crazier. Here it comes now. Are you ready? Take a square away. You've got the middle square. Five seconds. What is it? No idea. The catchphrase runs in the family. Back to Paul and Tony. Here comes your catchphrase. Oh, 
wall straight in there. Wailing wall. Wailing wall is right. Could be a comeback now. Three, two, five, plays. Three, three, five. You're only ten behind Paul. The bonus is worth seventy. Take away a square. You have got the top right. Five seconds. What is it? Keep left. Keep left is not right. Back to Andrew and back to Cheryl. Here comes your catchphrase. Cheryl's in there first. Yes, Cheryl? Grease elbow. Grease elbow is not right. Andrew? Elbow grease. Of course it is, yeah. Oh, Cheryl, never mind. 4 10 plays 3 2 5. The bonus is now worth 60. Take a square away, Andrew. You got middle right, this might help you. Five seconds, what do you think it is? Paint to the left side of the road. No, it's not. So back to Tony and Paul. Are you ready? Here it comes. What just happened to Mr Chips? Tell me what you've just seen. Tony. Ball in between two stalls. He's absolutely right. And you didn't think it was. Look at that. Oh, look, he's getting his mum a kiss. <laughs> Going, well done, Mum. All right, get this bonus now. It's worth 50. <laughs> Take a square away. This might just help your bottom right. Five seconds for 50. What is it? No, nope, still don't know. It's, I think, quite a tough one. Back to Andrew and back to Cheryl, and here is your catchphrase. <laughs> Cheryl. In front. In front is not right. Andrew. Back to front. It is back to front. <laughs> So, 560 plays 325. The bonus is now worth 40. It's your go, Andrew. Take a square away. Oh, you got the bottom. That's the one you wanted, bottom middle. Five seconds. What is it? Stuff the left, left side of the road. Stuff the left side of the road. <laughs> that well known Greek catchphrase. No, it's not. <laughs> back to uh, Tony and back to Paul. Here comes your catchphrase. Middle winkle. Middle winkle. <laughs> <laughs> Even Andrew's embarrassed. No kiss for that one, I think. If I know. Paul, it's not middle winkle. What is it? What's Mr. Chips doing? Oh. Right, I think. Audience, oh. what is it? It's winkle picker. <laughs> so back to Andrew and Cheryl. Are you ready? Here comes your catchphrase. <laughs> Walking prowl. Walking prowl is not right. Cheryl. On the prowl? On the prowl is right. <laughs> 400 plays 560. The bonus is worth 30. Take a square away, Cheryl. Ooh, top middle. Five seconds, what is it? Is it right stuff? It is right stuff. Well done. <laughs> You've had a whole sort of re sort of a resurgence, haven't you, Cheryl? Well done. It's 4.30 plays 5.60, but now it gets fast and furious. We take away the bell, but we need to find out how much each catchphrase is worth now. So, Tony Andrew, hit the number chase button for me. 115. That could change everything. Are you ready, everyone? You can buzz in at any point as soon as you want. There's no bell. And here's the first one. Cheryl. A cut in interest rates. He's right. A cut in interest rates. And you're only 15 behind now, Paul. The bonus is worth 200. Take away one of the squares. <laughs> Top left. Five seconds. What is it? I haven't got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> thought you might have said that. Four, five, place, four, six, six, five, six, six. This next catchphrase is very important. Good luck. Paul, very quickly in. A night on the tiles. A night on the tiles. No, it's obviously your own sort of uh, thing there. No, it's not. <laughs> you can buzz me again, maybe you want. Cheryl. The time and the place. The time and the place is right, and you're going to the lead for the first time. It's 660 place, 560. The bonus is important. There's one square gone. It's worth 185. Take another square away. 
Just compete the game if you can get it. Take it away. Five seconds. What is it? Muscle man? <laughs> no, it's not muscle man. Okay, then. Now then, that is the end of the game. That means that everything will hinge on the bonus. We have to give away the 170. We're going to reveal it to you square by square. You can buzz in as soon as you want. Whoever gets this will win the game and come and play Super Catchphrase. Are you all ready? Start revealing the bonus now, please. Tony and Andrew for the game. Pretty You've won it. Yeah. Well done, you two. Well, you know, that is one of the most exciting catchphrases I've ever seen. It was great, wasn't it? Yeah. Well done, Paul and Cheryl. You were great contestants. You take away with you, you take away your catchphrase sweatshirt, and you also take away with your Brewer's Concise Dictionary of Phrase and Tale, published by Helicon. Thanks for playing the game. Tony and Andrew, come here, we're going to play Super Catchphrase. Come on, mate. <laughs> well done, young man. Good work. Stand here. Well done. It's good, that, wasn't it? Look, you've got to just get calm now, OK? We can't get emotional, right, until we've won it all. You know what you've got to do? We've got 25 squares. It's from A to Y, OK? Behind each of those is a catchphrase. That's what you've got to do. If you can complete the line the way the computer's showing you now, then you take away with you this prize. A fabulous remote control compact disc sound machine with twin tape cassette decks, multi-channel radio receiver, graphic equaliser and a massive 80 watts of power. Plus this terrific Interpeak mountain bike with 15 speed index gears and lightweight alloy wheels and delivered just for you by Bike City. <laughs> But, of course, the M square, if you can do the lines to the M square as you're being shown now, that's the tough one, but you'd win the big prize. But I can't tell you what it is, because it would sort of ruin the surprise, all right? Now, we all want you to do this. You've got 60 seconds. The thing to remember is that if you get stuck, say pass and we'll come back to it. If you get stuck on the M square, start a new square. Are you both ready? Yeah. You sure you're up to it? Yeah. Good man. OK. Good luck to you both. We mean that your time starts now. M. Tell me what's on the screen. What's just happened? In the saucepan. What's just happened? Leaking saucepan. No. Melting saucepan. No. Pass. No. Pass. Pass. H. Briefcase. Mr. Throck. Filing briefcase. No. Sorry. What's the name? Rock. Briefcase Rock and file. file. Rock and file, that's right, yeah, move on. C. Three in a card. No, what's with chips doing? Mm -hmm. Not eating, but... Chewing the card. Yes! Oh. Easy way out. Yes! W. Toast. Toast the bride and groom. Yes! You want the M, M square M, to win. M. What saucepan. happens? Melting saucepan. Not saucepan, but melting... Saucepan. Milk pan. Melting pan. No! Oh! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> we got so close. Let's have a look at the M square. It wasn't melting pan, it was melting the pot. pot. Oh. Melting pot. But never mind, you still get this. You take the whole family for a fabulous day out to Thorpe Park. Whether you prefer rides like Logger's Leap or Flying Fish, there's entertainment for everyone here, young and old. You had a good time there. You've been great from the Thanks very much. You've been brilliant. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've enjoyed watching. We'll see you soon for some more family catchphrase. Bye-bye. <laughs>